Hi, this is Trisha, the Knitting Lady. It's Sunday, 26, and I wanted to show you this car. It's been sitting in our parking lot for a while. And believe it or not, the owner moves it. Hi, I'm back home, sitting near my paintbrushes. <laughs> Have I been painting? No. But anyway, getting back to that car. Now, I'm sure some of you live in places where you have to get your car inspected every year. I know I did. This is the first state I've ever lived in where you don't have to inspect your car every year. So this, I know this lady, this couple owns that car and uh, she takes it out every, I don't know if she's been moving a lot lately, but uh, she takes it out on the road. Now that would never fly in New Jersey when I lived in New Jersey. A cop would be pulling her over, saying, why is that car in the road? The whole bumper is gone. I wouldn't even think it's safe. I guess the lights work. I don't know. So, I was uh, working. I finished my shaw. It was going to be a pocket shaw. But it's too wide in the pocket. If I made pockets, it would be too flimsy. So I'm just going to keep it as a shaw. I was doing um, the make-along with um, Judy Witchpig's craft. She has the uh, hashtag yarn vacation AU 2022. And she... It's only going to do it for six months. So she's done it for two months already. And twice a month, well, on the 1st and 15th, she goes to a new place. So it started out in England. Then it went to Ireland, then Spain, and then Greece. So these are my last colors. It starts white. Um, Mykonos, Greece for the white buildings, white wash buildings. Here's the blue and green for the sea and tan for the tan bodies. So it's just a long shawl, long shawl. I'll probably wind up giving it away, you know, donating it. But I'm using all my leftover yarn and let me go get my blanket. And that I'm doing with my leftover yarn too. So all the different colors. Where's my latest? The latest is up top. I'm just like picking colors that in a way go together. And every few rows, I try to make sure it's a little glittery. Because I love my other blanket I made with the leftover yarn. So I'm very proud of myself. I went to Hobby Lobby during the week and did not buy any yarn. Tempted, but I didn't. I'm really trying to use what I have because I have a wall of yarn. But, you know, I got off work before because I work from home. From one of those impossible customers that you get off the phone and you want to scream. I didn't scream, almost did. <laughs> I went for a walk. Um, I wanted to check something else in the washroom because all our washers and dryers are down. They're renovating. I don't know what they're doing. But um, I ran into my neighbor and I said to her, I just got off work and I felt like screaming because I know she works from home. I said I was going to go to the Moose Lodge for a drink, but I decided not to. Because I have the skin surgery tomorrow, the second half. This, the first one's up here, this one's down here. I don't even know if it's necessary. Do you ever wonder about that with the doctor? It's like, really, is this necessary? So I don't want to drink something and have it interfere. If they give me, they numb me. Trust me, I react to everything. I have a really hard time with medication. I can't take any pain medication except for Tylenol. You know, good thing I have a pretty high endurance for pain. The Tylenol usually puts me to sleep. 
if people say you have a headache, take a, you know, um, Excedrin or Tylenol or something. No, it's going to put me to sleep, so I'm going to have to deal with the headache. You know what helps me with headaches? Bananas, believe it or not. So I always try to have bananas. I don't get headaches that often, but once in a while. So I didn't want it to, uh, I thought twice about it. But boy, was I tempted, I'll tell you. I know she would have gone with me, too. <laughs> I just wanted one drink. I don't keep liquor around the house. I really don't. Because why buy a bottle of wine if I'm going to have one glass? You really, I don't think wine keeps. If anybody has any, any thoughts on that, let me know. But I should, I was thinking the other day, I should keep a bottle of, I do like bourbon. I know, do I look the type? I went out Friday night with friends and I had old fashioned, had bourbon and it. it was very good. I should keep a bottle of brandy or bourbon in the house. That would, that would be okay. Plus, you know, you have to, if you have a little bit of congestion, you gotta make a hot toddy for yourself. <laughs> This is for someone who hardly drinks. But sometimes liquor is quicker. <laughs> what was I gonna say? So, you know, with this person on the phone, she was just impossible. She really was. I know they keep pushing surveys. Make sure you tell them about the surveys. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if she does the survey, I am going to get a bad survey. Even though I spent over an hour helping her. Cause she was just one of those impossible people. She wanted everything for nothing. Now you have to pay for help when you call us. She don't want to pay for that. She paid for it and then she says, I all she did was complain. So I sent her a link with um download to uh for a serv not a survey, um refund. So she has to do a little work to get that refund. I could have gave her a refund. Was I going to do it? No. <laughs> Not after spending all this time with this lady and still having her complain. When she wasn't cooperating with me, she wasn't, I know she wasn't telling me the truth in some respects. So her return kept rejecting. We'll see if it goes through now. It didn't automatically reject when we put it through again. So maybe it's a good sign. I don't know. But uh, I wrote in the case notes about her. So the next person um, will see that she's not cooperative. My last call. I was like, I almost didn't take that call either. And as soon as you start, I'm like, why did I take this call? <laughs> you have to laugh about it. You know, you're never going to please everyone. So just focus on me. So I asked, you know, one of my friends on Facebook put out a thing, what is your dream job? I said, if I told you once, I told you a million times, I don't have a dream job. I don't dream of labor. I mean, what else can I tell you? Now I was sitting around, you know, sometimes when you get old, you, just, you remember things from your past. I think you remember more from your past than your future, you know, not future or your present. At least I find. I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes thinking of something that hasn't happened for years. Or thinking of somebody I haven't seen for years. Or weird. But I was, I dated this one cop when I lived in New Jersey. I lived more closer to New York City. And he lived more up so-called mountains of New Jersey. Well, there's skiing up there. But, you know, it's not mountains like mountains in Colorado, of course. They do more snowboarding up there now because it gets very icy. But uh, he, had, he was telling me he went on this case where this uh, lady's husband died. And they said to her, how did your husband die? She says he was poisoned. Well, lady, there's bruises all over the his body well you don't understand officer he wouldn't take it 
poor cops, they run into everything. Another time I was driving down the highway. Apparently I was going too fast, cop pulls me over. And he goes, do you know how fast you were going? I said, but officer, I was just trying to keep up with traffic. And he, and he looks around and he goes, there isn't any traffic. And I said, well, that's how far behind I am. I got a ticket. So what else can I tell you? Nothing else. Um, I have to get ready for tomorrow, at least I have the day off. They just send me for more training, which I don't need, but I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> I told myself, why am I giving them a hard time? I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> but they want me to do work and training too. That's what annoys me because there's only so many hours I want to devote to this job. It's only part time. That's what my son keeps telling me. It's only part time, mom. It's only part time. Don't fret over it. And um, when I said to him, my manager, he says, well, can you get it done by a certain time? I said, well, I don't know. I'm going for surgery tomorrow. And he, you know, they give you that look like, why are you doing it now? You know, he didn't say it, but I could read his, I could see his voice in the Zoom meeting. And I told myself, I'm sorry. This is, I didn't say this to him, but I'm going to say this when we have our, we have like a bi, bi-weekly Zoom meeting to catch up on things. I'm going to say, you understand this is only part time. And my health comes before my job. You know, this is really just to pay for my trip to Hawaii that I'm taking in May. Because it's going to be expensive. More things we're thinking of doing. I was like, okay, that's another $200. That's another. And I don't think we're being extravagant. Because a lot of it is going to be uh, visiting national parks and hiking. Um, I'm not going to all these trips, you know, we go well. I don't can't go snorkeling anyway, because um, I'm not supposed to go underwater for. I don't know how long I'm not supposed to go underwater for. I've never done snorkeling anyway. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I am going tubing though. I am doing that. I'll just keep my nose covered. Um, but I'm not going uh, snorkeling. I won't do, and also. Um, my son wanted to go up in the helicopter, which I can't do. I know that from experience. My motion sickness just kicks in. And it would, I said to him, no, you don't want me to get in the helicopter. It's not going to be a pretty sight. So that's out. But other than that, you know, and after that, I want to go to Arizona to visit friends because I used to live in Tucson. So I'm trying to put that all together. I'm a planner. I just like, I don't plan it down to the hour, but I plan of general things that I want to do, you know. Um, and I'm not going to stay with friends when I'm in Tucson because I I don't want to be obligated. But there's, uh, I was looking at my perks at work and I have to look closer into this. There's a, there was a, a chance to stay at the Hotel Congress downtown in Tucson. Now that's a historic hotel. Where Dillinger used to stay. In fact, every year they have a reenactment when there was a fire at the Hotel Congress and Dillinger escaped out the window. <laughs> it's a whole hotel. So the, the price of the room wasn't too bad. So I'm going to look into that. You know, um, the only thing that's holding me back is the parking. But if I find out that there's a place to park, I'm going to book, I think, two nights there. That would be fun because then I can walk around downtown, and they have um, they have a hotel, they have a restaurant in there and a bar, and the food's good. I've eaten there, so it would be it would be good. So that's about it. Just doing my plans, and if you don't see me for a while, it's because I don't want to scare you. <laughs> So take care, everybody. I hope everybody's doing fine. Bye.